Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing absolute value functions. We're going to graph each equation. So, <clears throat> if I was given this equation, y equals absolute value of x plus 1. Okay. Well, the thing about this, we want to find our vertex, our h comma k, and we have a little equation right there. Okay. Well, our h value, since we have x plus one right there, our h value is actually a negative one. Okay. Sometimes, if you need to see it like this, x minus a negative one, that can help you, right? So x plus one is the same thing as x minus a negative one. So h is our negative one here, and then our k value is not given. There's nothing there, so it's zero. Okay. So now we have our vertex. So let's go graph that. Negative one comma zero. So we go over negative one. And then we go up zero units, so we have a point right here, negative one comma zero. Now our a value that's in front wasn't really given, but uh, since it's being multiplied, it's just a one, a positive one though, so we have a v, okay, we have a v right there, so we have a, a normal v, and then a slope of one, we just go up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, okay, and this vertex, we put it right here. I'm going to fit it in here, and it's just negative 1, comma, 0. Then we go mirror that to the left. Up 1 to the left 1, up 1 to the left 1, and then up 1 to the left 1. Okay? Now we just connect the dots to make our V. We know these lines go on forever. And there we have our graph, our absolute value graph. Okay? Again, positive uh, value, positive A value. It's up front. We have like a normal V looking graph. So quick recap, we're given y equals the absolute value of x plus 1. And so <clears throat> we're going to find our vertex h minus k. Now I like to just get it from here, see that h should be a negative 1, okay? Um, kind of opposite of the absolute value, but if you want to write it as x minus a negative 1, that's totally fine. So we have h is negative 1, our k is a plus 0 out there, so it's 0. So our coordinate point of vertex is negative 1, comma, 0. Then our a value that's out front is a uh, positive 1. We don't really write it there, but there's a 1 there. So our, pot, our slope is, uh, we go to the right, which is no, one slope. Up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Then we mirror that on the left, okay? And now we connect the dots, and we have our final answer, our 